Hi, hey, and all those other greetings, adventurers. I'm Jake Spins, welcoming you guys back to my gaming and unboxing channel, where today we are back with more SpongeBob Rehydrated. And in the previous episode, Sandy was fighting this rock. Um, no, we actually got a fair amount of progress done in a quick time. Um, and we're using my new computer. Uh, we got through like half of the world already. But as I said in that episode, that does not mean this is going to be easy. Um, a few things that I should address though is that if there were problems in that episode, I apologize. And if there's problems in this one, I also apologize because I'm still fitter, fiddling around with all of the settings and stuff. And I don't know the limitations of this computer yet and what I should or should not be doing. Um, right now I have uh, the frame rate at 59.94, which is the first time I'm recording in 60 frames. And I lowered the quality from the Elgato just a tad to see if that would help. And the, uh, the Elgato's preview screen is smaller because I'm actually not needing to look at it um, for the screen. I just need to look at it to make sure that it, it's all working. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all that's been going on. And yeah, th for the most part, I don't think I'm going to need to make any big changes. But again, we'll have to see. The other problem is too... Oh my god, I forgot to take out my, my earbud. My bad. Sorry if I was a bit loud there. Um, but the other problem with this whole entire thing is the fact that Sand Mountain seems to be a little bit laggy. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if that's necessarily um, the game or if it was the... Oof, bud. That's rough. Um, but I don't know if it's the game or the new setup stuff, but this, as I said, this is brand new hardware. Um, so I don't know. It's finding the limitations. Oh boy. Flounder Hill. See those spikes. I don't know if Sandy can go on those despite having a, a shell slide. Hey, it's. It's going to say bubble bass, but instead we got a dab. No. No dabbing. I had to hit you because you have been in the vicinity of a virtual dab. <laughs> that apparently is not okay. And what, what do you do? Oh, you just flounder? You're also new. You also flounder. You guys are not as interesting as... Well, actually, you're another reskin, but I think that's a fish we never got to <laughs> to see the animation of. So, you know, there's that. All right, so I think that every single... Dude, that bus just went through this fish. Dude is strong. What a superhero, man. But um, I think that every single time challenge... Wait, what just happened there? That was weird. It's like a stale jump off of the guy where it didn't play the, the animation because it counted me as standing on him. So it makes me run and jump, but I can't jump again. Sorry, I'm just trying to see. That's really weird. Um, but I think if you talk to everybody at Spongebob, you get um, a whole time thing. Alright, cool. We have 110 seconds this time. Remember, the first one was 70. So, this is definitely going to be a challenge and... Uh, you know, going down as Sandy would have probably been the best thing to check this first and see how the hill was. Because this is already insane, and I don't know if that was even worth it. Wow, was that really just for time? 
Yikes. But yeah, SpongeBob is for the um for the time challenge, and then Sandy is more so for getting everything else. You also can't use checkpoints on this. All right, watch. Now that I didn't go that way, it's gonna be the sock. Honest to God, watch it happen. But um, I I really shouldn't focus that much on the socks and stuff on this run. Um, oh, snowman! Uh, how dare you? My sand was already tonguey. <laughs> My tongue was already sandy. But now you've destroyed... Oh! SpongeBob's tongue is immune to needles. I guess he's okay with aromatherapy? <laughs> is that now canon? I, I don't know. It, it seems to be. All right, well, I mean, to be fair, it can plow through metal robots. I guess it should be fine with tiny needles. Oh, no, the snowman! Snow is in the air. Sand is everywhere. Whoa! Sorry, I had to get the snowman. And, yeah, I'm definitely not going to make it. Yeah, this was, uh... This was rough. I, I'm not even close. Oh, no. No. I was about, like, five seconds too... Too slow. Wah, wah. Well, that one, that one area and getting hit by the spikes did not help at all. So, it's probably based on that. At least that's what I'm guessing. And I'm guessing button? Yay! Button! Oh, and there's... Yeah, there's definitely no way I can bounce that up. Except, can I... Can I maybe roll it off of... Yo! First try! Yes! Oh my god, dude. I am the bowling master. Who cares if I can't slide for crap, dude? I can do amazing things with the bubble ball. And now we're going to steal this child spatula. Bask in the glory. This is my bubble. Oh my god, he basked. He basked. I said bask, and the man basked. Round of applause for the, for the kid who basked in our bowling glory. I love it. Thank you. Thank you, kid. Who kind of looks like an alt from Crash? Who jumped into a spacesuit? <laughs> Sure. Um all right. <laughs> well we're gonna we're gonna go after this again. And we have at least three. Now I don't know if the snowmen are split or if it's only on this one. Okay, well there's another one over there. Oh, there's one here. Wait, they're all on this how do you how do you dodge these as SpongeBob? It's like impossible. All right. Well, I don't know what I'll do for the time ones now that I've failed. If I'll, oh, I should have gone the other way. It's fine now. Other way probably would have been faster. Again, it's fine. Oh, I missed. Oh no, I made it. Yes, speed run. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna be stingy. That's gonna be some aromatherapy for your tongue. One would assume aromatherapy is is not delightful. To an extreme extent. Especially if it's on your tongue. Okay, I haven't gone this way. Oh my god, if that's where I failed. I would have been livid, especially with how this run has been going. Come on, Spins, come on. I'm getting nervous, though, but I am getting closer. I feel like a new and I can go up now. Was there a snowman? No, but there is a sock up there. Okay, good to know. Oh my god, look at how close I am. Look at how close I am. Yes, yes. Yeah! By three seconds, bubble buddy. Hey, take that, my bubbly, bubbly friend. 
yo, Michael Buble said, nah, I'm not going to sell you in a fresh can, sparkling water. All right, well, anyway. you beat my best time. Here's us. Thank you, Bubble Buddy. I will take that. I didn't expect to jump over it, hit him, and then get the spatula stuck in my nose. But, um, you know, who doesn't want to flip patties with their nostrils? Yeah, fair point, my green friend. Fair point. All right, let's actually go this way. As I almost fall off, this is why we play as Sandy. Because there's totally going to be something over here. Or it's going to be faster? I don't know. Oh, snowman! This game. <laughs> why does that have collision? First off, like, after breaking it, like, ugh, whatever, whatever, it's fine, it's been dealt with, it's making me think that all the snowmen are here though, because that is a stupid amount of snowmen. Oh, okay, I see a snowman down there. Yeah, I'll have to come back to that. Come on, make it, make it, make it. No! I will get this sock. And you know what? While I'm at it, while I'm at it, I'm going to get the snowman. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to get this snowman over there. Because <laughs> I'm a rebel. And I can do whatever my little squirrel heart desires because I can lasso up love. Ow. Okay, okay. Unfortunate things. Unfortunate things have happened here. All right, well, I have no clue where the... I'm stuck. I'm dead. <laughs> sure. What? What do you mean? You mean the time challenge? It stays, but if I die on the slope... That's dumb. That's really dumb. Oh, that's extremely upsetting. Of course, I only had like one left. No. No! All right, well, I don't know where that eighth one is, though. I swear if it's something really stupid. God, I can't believe dying on the slope actually ends up, re like, making it to where all of them go away and you have to do it completely all over again. That's so stupid. Wait, was that it? Wait, I don't remember this path. Oh my god, that was the stupid eighth snowman. Oh, you're kidding. Alright, well great. Now I can't die at all, or I lose all of the progress. I don't... I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it at all. All of that, all of that work 
for one sock. We would have had that done so quickly. We just had to get that one, but no. The game was like, oh, well, you died. Well, you're Sandy, so that sucks. I don't know if it's because SpongeBob, like, he warps back to the front or, or what, but that's really, really dumb, and I don't like that. That's a really, really rude choice. Like that! That, that was actually even more rude. Oh my god. Uh, whatever, we got all the snowmen, and it's fine. Um, I'm sure that once I cut all the stuff out, it'll be closer to 10 minutes, so I'm actually going to stop the recording, and we are going to start a brand new one, just so that the file's not too big, um, and then I'll edit them together. So... All right, well, after a quick break of Sandy eating some grass, we are, uh, we are going all the way over to number three. You know what they say, though. You cannot go on to a slide with an empty stomach. It's just something you, you should not do. It's very, very bad for your health. Oh, that's what that little crease in his back is. You guys see how the flowers went into his back? He's a piggy bank. Sorry, SpongeBob, you cannot deny you are a piggy bank now. Instead of bones, he holds money. Everybody thought it was water, but nope. I'm the fastest there is. Larry. Let's be honest here, he probably ended up getting stuck in one of the tunnels <laughs> on one of his runs, because, like, he's so, like, buff. Like, how how did Larry even slide down this thing? Because I'm sure it's going to be narrow as heck. And unfortunately, it looks like we are going to be doing this with, uh, with, like, no health. So that's great. <laughs> I know nothing to expect of this slide. I don't think we have to worry about snowmen, which is interesting, like, why they made that choice. I'm not sure, but this is the last and the hardest slide. I mean, we just have two... Oh, jeez. Two more spatulas left, which is great. Oh, jeez. We're rocking by platform. Don't you cry. Because if you do, you're t you'll turn into mud. And then Spongebob will be tasting mud for weeks. That's just gross. Nobody wants to taste mud. Carl, that kills people! <laughs> Sorry, just my immediate thought as a, as a sandball just cr- Why? That was so unnecessary! <laughs> Alright, well I guess we'll take this, uh, this sand cut. Okay, well, that shiny is definitely meant for Sandy. Oh, gosh. Yeah, somehow Patrick was in a cave that didn't exist. <laughs> he lost his sock there. <laughs> okay, I guess Patrick is just the, you know, going on some Phineas and Ferb adventures. But he's, uh, he's coming back a little hit in the head with, like, a hammer or something. Either that, or he patched the hole back up and was like, no one will ever find my my hidden stash of socks. And then he just forgot where they were. And, uh, then he proved himself right. Oh, I should have jumped down. My brain was telling me, you know, maybe you should jump down there. It'll be quicker. It'll save you some time. What did I do? The exact opposite of that. I mean, to be fair, I'm still learning the course. Would I have done it in that time? I guess it depends on if the next few seconds we hit it. No, it wouldn't have made that big a difference. That's that's a thing. But for a first run and a lay of the land, that's not too bad. And honestly, that getting that one sock just took, like, a lot of time. Also, it... Like, can I just say, it's very impressive that I, uh... I managed to get through that without dying. So that part I'm happy with. 
Oh god, oh god. Also, I'm not gonna try to do anything impressive because of how many enemies there are. So, I'm just gonna... Wait, isn't this sign supposed to say, like, duplicator or something? But it, it doesn't. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Oh, not where I wanted to throw that. But, uh, hey, this is whatever. Is the one guy gone? Oh, well, you're just gonna explode, so I'll just... I'll just leave you there to your privacy. Fair enough. Alright. Nobody's gonna bask in my glory, but there will be two people kissing over there. Or, well, social, social distance love talking. <laughs> That's the equivalent. Yes. All right. Well, anyway, we at least got one spatula, which means we have one red lobstery spatula to still accomplish. Quite a lot of paths to go down, too. Um, one would assume that this is the fastest route, and then I'll just cut these curves because that'll just be faster. A better time. Oh, geez. Yep, we did not go down here. Oh, sand lanch. Sand a lanch. I guess you could also say sand a blanche. So that's what you'd probably say when you're tasting sand. The, the slope gods did not like that joke. Oh, rude. Root! Oh! Oh no! Oh, I thought the part that wasn't breaking was the part that was breaking, so that was almost really embarrassing. Alright, we're good. You're okay. Okay, we're in about the same predicament. Oh, I had to jump early. I had to jump super early. Oh, that's quicker, though. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we're right there. No. Oh. That was closer, but not, not close enough. All right. Well, we would have fallen off and died anyway. Blind spot, dude. What? Oh, I swear, if that's what kills me. Oh, I swear to God. took the longest end path possible. No! I was right there. Dude, it killed me. This stupid thing with the collision. Why is it sometimes it breaks through and sometimes it doesn't? Ugh. Thank you, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. I just want to give a quick shout out to Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. You might be saying, what? But there's a level. It's like final chase or final rush. One of the two. Where you have this railing that slides all the way down this pillar. And 
I would used to try to change rails and I would fall off the rail. And in falling off the rail, I would fall all the way down and I learned I could just land on the rail. And it felt so good every time. So I was like, you know, I could just pull an SA2. And it worked. So that gave us like 40 extra seconds, which is insane. Um, do we, before I actually go onto the slope, okay, we have one more sock to get, and I have no idea where it is, but I, I don't think we've gotten a lot of stuff here, and there was a Texas symbol. So I'm going to search around the mountain and see if I can find the sock. Whoa. All right, there we go. That would... Wait, what? Now I'm walking. That was extremely unexpected. I thought I was going to slide past all on all of these, but uh, I mean, okay. I'll take it. There's the sock, though. Hello, Mr. Sock. Your wife was looking for you. And you know, we've done it all. So why don't we uh, fast travel a little bit? Because why not? Let's go, hand. Or not, because I've now screwed myself over. Fine, I'll slide the rest of it. Alrighty, guys. Well, that is three slides down and an entire world defeated. And it wasn't that hard. It's pretty easy. <laughs> Sorry, we borrowed your ski equipment and broke it. Actually, I think that Patrick borrowed your equipment. What? Who said he can do that? Oh, okay. Well, I wasn't very off base. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Again. SpongeBob boundaries. I don't even know what that means. That, that concerns me. <laughs> Patrick, what do you mean? What do you mean you want the warm now? I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. But, uh, yeah. Either way, though, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. We 100 percent in an area. Which is really weird to say, considering there is a ton to do in the first area. So the fact that we 100 percent in the second one already, that's, that's weird. That's extremely weird. Um, well, I mean, unless you're, you're counting the boss which in that case um yeah we we do still have a little bit of work to do but um it's something i don't want to do in this episode i don't know how long it is but i feel like you know two episodes finishing sand hill is sand Ma sand mountain my apologies um but i feel like that's pretty good so if you guys enjoyed this episode make sure to hit that like button Cheers out with everyone know and love. Brother, mother, sister, father, iguana. And in the next episode, we will be tackling the boss of the second area of the game. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Keep it safe. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. You can subscribe if you really liked it. You can also hit the bell to make sure that you don't miss any videos by me. And uh, on the screen right now, there's my first channel subscription, second channel, as well as some videos to check out. All right, guys, hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you later.